Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you solos and soloing in Reaper. Now, soloing a track is the idea of isolating it compared to the other tracks, so you just hear that one, or a group of tracks that you select. So, the project in front of me here, with a kick, some claps, a snare track, a hi-hat, piano, and violins. Let's hear it. So if I want to solo any of these tracks, like the kick track, we just go over here to the track control panel and hit the button S. That's going to solo our kick track. So we're only going to hear the kick. Hit it again, it unsolos it. Do the same for the clap, a hi hat, or the piano, and so on. Now, there's a few different ways we could solo our tracks. Besides hitting the solo button, we could also drag on the tracks that are next to each other, like this, and solo them all, and unsolo them the same way, by going back. But that only works on tracks next to each other, or adjacent tracks. We could also solo tracks with keyboard shortcuts. Although it's not assigned by default, we could assign them. Let's go to our actions to the action list and type in solo tracks and right over here is an action to solo and unsolo our tracks. Let's add a keyboard shortcut to this right over here. I'm going to use shift S and if I hit that keystroke I can more quickly solo my tracks. So I'll go to my kick and select it, hit that keystroke and I'm soloing the kick. Hit it again to unsolo it. If you want to do a group of tracks, just select them all, hit the keystroke, and they're all soloed. And again, we could unsolo them with the same keystroke as it toggles. Now, there's a few different types of soloing in Reaper. By default, this is called solo in place. So if we solo a track, we're going to hear it based on its routing. For instance, if we created a bus to send these tracks to, if we solo them, it's also going to send to that bus, even if we don't solo the bus. Or another example is if we send our tracks to an effects return. Let's take our clap and let's send it to our delay track down here. I'll drag the routing and drop it right here. Then we can send the claps to the delay. Let's bring it down a bit. We'll do the same thing with our snare. We're going to drag this to the reverb. Let's bring this down a bit. So now the claps are going to have delay, and the snare is going to have reverb. So it sounds like this. And by default, if we solo those tracks, like the claps, I still hear the effect, or the snare, and we're hearing that effect even though we're not soloing the effects returns down here, because we don't have to with solo in place, which again is on by default. But if we don't want that mode, we can go to our preferences, right down here, and scroll down under audio to mute and solo. We can see right over here that solo is default to in place solo or solo in place. That's the mode we hear our track and also where it's routing to. But if we turn this off, it's not going to work that way. So now if I solo my clap or my snare, we don't hear the effects. Because even though it's sending to the effects returns, it's ignoring the routing. So if we want to hear the effects, 
we have to also solo the delay and the reverb. But again, this is off by default. So when this is on, we don't have to do that. We're going to hear the effects just by soloing the track. But we could also switch it with a modifier. If we look over here, we could choose Alt Click to ignore routing for the solo. So that's going to switch it without having to change the preference. So on PC, I'll hold on Alt. On Mac, hold on Option. Hit the solo. And we just hear the clap without the delay. So it's ignoring the routing. Same with our snare. But if we don't hold down the modifier, we do hear the effects. So the solo is in place. And again, we could switch it right here. And if you want the opposite behavior, just turn this off and it'll work in reverse using the same modifier. So now we're not going to hear the effects because it's solo, ignore routing. But if we add the modifier to each of them, we do because now we're soloing in place. But let's put this back to the default. Now we can also right click on the solo button to see the different solos. So if I go to the button and right click it, we could see all the other options. We could choose solo in place from here, which is the default, or we could choose solo, ignore routing. But we could also unsolo all the tracks, either from here in the menu or using a modifier, which will be control on the PC or command on the Mac. So let's solo all the drums, hold on the modifier, control on the PC, command on the Mac, hit any of the solo buttons, and they all come out of solo. And what's nice about this, you don't have to hit a button that's actually soloed. We could solo all these, go down here to the violin, hold on the modifier, and click it, and it still unsolos all the tracks. So if you're dealing with a big project and you're not sure what track is soloed, just go to any of the tracks, hold on the modifier, and you can turn off solo with one click. And we could also choose exclusive solo, either from the menu here or using modifiers. On PC, it's Alt Control. On Mac, it's Option and Command. And if we choose that, it's only going to solo that track. So if other tracks are already soloed, like these two, I can go to the violin, hold on the modifiers, and it unsolos the other tracks and just solos this one or a group. So if I solo the drums and select these two, hold on the modifier, and these tracks get soloed. And all the other tracks that were soloed get unsoloed. It's actually a great way of A being tracks. That's called exclusive solo. And you could right click it and do it here or use the modifier right here. And finally, we could solo defeat. And what that's going to do is it's going to make a track always heard, even if we're in solo mode and that track isn't soloed. So for instance, let's go down here to our effects returns. And if we use that mode by holding out Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac to ignore the routing, we're not going to hear the effects. But we can go to our effects returns and right click them and choose Solo Defeat. That's going to unsolo these tracks no matter what. Let's do the same with our reverb, Solo Defeat. So now with these tracks soloed, we're still going to hear these two, even though these tracks aren't soloed. So we're always going to hear the effects because these tracks are never unsoloed. And if you use the keystroke on the PC, it's Shift Control. And on the Mac, it's Shift Command. Hit the keystroke, and we can toggle Solo Defeat Off or On.
but there's one other solo mode I should show you. And that's called solo in front. So if I go to my kick track and solo it, we just hear the kick. But if we go to the options menu and go down here to solo in front, now we're going to hear the kick, but all the other tracks are just going to be dimmed. They're not going to be turned off. Same with the hi-hat. We can still hear the track underneath it, but it's a lot lower. So if you want to solo things and work on them, we can still hear the rest of the track, but it's further in back, which is why it's called solo in front. And if we go back to the preferences, we can see our setting right here. So in front dimming, it defaults to minus 18. We could change it to anything we want. Let's set it to minus eight and let's hear that. Notice the track is a lot louder, but the kick is still in front. So we could change that value to anything we want. In fact, there's an action where we could change it on the fly. Let's go back to our actions and let's search solo in front. And right over here is that action. We can use a MIDI fader or MIDI knob or even use the mouse wheel. I'm going to set it up with all my modifiers and the mouse wheel. I'll move the wheel, shows up right here. Now, if we adjust that while we're soloing, we can readjust the dim value or how loud the rest of the track is. Let's try it with violin. So we can change how loud the track is on the fly. Or we can just change it right from here. And again, the default was minus 18. But we have to turn it on in the options menu right here, so in front. Otherwise, we just hear the track that's sold. Or tracks. So that's pretty much it. That's solos and soloing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.